Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Pino Concept. So today I'm going to show you how I edited this image in Adobe Lightroom. Also, quick note, this is not the raw format. This is in JPEG. So those of you who take pictures with your cell phones can also follow along in this tutorial. Anyway, let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up application. For this job, I'll be using Adobe Photoshop Lightroom CC 2019 and this is the interface. I've already created a tutorial on the beginner's guide for this software so those of you interested, I have it linked below. Um, this is the image I'm going to be using so what I'll do is I'll just click and drag and drop it here right in the library tab in case you don't know how to import your images and what it's going to do is it's going to select the entire folder with all the images and this is what I'm going for because um, it looks nice to me so let's go ahead and import it all right now to edit any power form of this um, you have to go into the develop tab so I'll just click on that um, there are a couple of things I'm going to be doing very quickly um, first off is going to use this um, white balance selector to what it does is it allows you to um, make or adjust the white balance of your image so select the whitest part of the image in my case um, this is going to be the best but this is the um, highlight so what I'm going to do is because her dress is also white I'm just going to click on it and it's going to adjust the white balance for me um, this is looking quite yellowish for me so what I'll do is I'll just tone it down a little bit um, probably around five or three should be okay and that is okay for me um another thing is i'm going to be increasing the exposure this is something i always do to about 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 depending on how intense i want the image to be the contrast i always set mine to 5 or 10 again depending on the image and the highlights will always come down so highlights are always down so that i can see a little bit of details in the dress um, let me use this to fill the screen so if i turn off the slider you can see that if i turn it all the way to the left you can see a little bit of details in the dress that's what i want usually i don't use negative um 100 it's around negative um, 75 and negative 90 and apart from that too, if I take a close look at her face, you can see that we have some shadows over here and the hair as well. So what I want to do is I want to brighten them up. So that is going to be in the shadows and I'm going to crank them up just by a little bit. Somewhere around 35 should be okay. The next thing is to talk about the whites. So the whites are the white portions of this image and I'm also going to increase them to compensate for the highlights I have turned down. So that is going to be somewhere around 15 or 20. Again, depending on the image you are using. And because I have brought up the shadows, the dark portions are also going to be brightened up. So I'm going to bring down the blacks so that the hair doesn't look too whitish. Like if I crank up the shadows, you can see that the hair is looking too whitish and that is not ideal. So let me quickly undo using Ctrl Z. And I'll bring down the blacks to about negative 15 or negative 10. Now, since I'm working with a face, if I take a closer look, you can see that we have some tiny pimples and other things on the face. Usually, I'll be editing this in Photoshop and I'll just clean them up. You can also use the spot remover tool over here. But in Lightroom, I don't prefer it as much as I prefer Photoshop. So what I usually do is I just turn down the texture to about um, oh negative is too much to about negative 20 to help me out with those portions so this is the before let me set this to zero this is this is the before and this is the after so negative 20 is ideal for me and apart from that too I increase what we call the clarity so that it looks something like this um usually I do this for my Instagram post if you turn it down it looks like um, a softening image so somewhere around um, positive 10 is just fine um, I don't go into the tones uh, HSL is just perfect so for the hue what I'm interested in is the green area um, I usually just turn it all the way to um, somewhere around 20 but I've noticed some of you also turn it to the left hand side so that you get this all tomb effect i usually don't do that here i do it in the calibrations so for the green i'll go about 25 that is okay so that the, there's a bit of contrast between the yellow here in the dress and the green in the background and the aqua since we don't have any 
um, skies in there I'm just going to leave everything as that so I'll again go into the luminance and I'll just increase the green so that it looks a bit brighter than it is I've noticed that most people like brighter images on Instagram more than the darker ones now because the skin is on the red orange and yellow I'm also going to be increasing them um, proportionally depending on well not proportionally I'm just going to be gauging whichever looks nice for me that is what I'm going to be using so again, let me increase the reds you can see it is around the nose area so somewhere around here I'll increase the orange the orange is for the entire skin over here so just a little bit um, I'll probably just leave it like that because the light is already hitting on those surfaces so increasing them will look um, a bit weird I'm actually going to increase the yellows instead so I think something like this should be just fine All right so this is how it looks and this is how it looks now so you can pretty much see the difference if this image was a raw image then we'll go into lens correction and we we'll just click on enable profile correction but since I have already done that and saved this as a PNG um, sorry JPEG this is not really important in here and I also go into the effect this is where I add in a little bit of vignetting so that the image can pop or the subject in the image can pop but before that um, let's just crop this image so I'll be using this crop overlay here and bring this somewhere around here now the reason why I crop is if I apply the vignetting effect it's going to start vignetting over at the top I want it to be a little bit closer to the subject so that's why I crop instead so let's crop to somewhere around here now this is just using the rule of thirds the eye level should always be between um, the top area so that is somewhere around here at the center or somewhere around here not too far to the left or too far to the right and you don't go all the way to the bottom like this this is not going to look nice because you don't have um, headroom or area around the head here so anywhere just around this area with the eye just above the third line or the upper line should be just fine and I'll click on done so let's add in our vignetting just a little not so much or else your image is going to look dark again and I've said that dark image don't always look nice and um, you go ahead and go ahead and play with the main point this part um, is quite subjective so depending on how you want it I think I'll leave my as this so amount negative um, midpoint all the way to 100 rounders all the way to negative 100 and this should be also fine now to the most important part that is the calibration now for the first part is going to be the blues but since we don't have any skies in there I'm just going to make it very minimal so about negative 10 should be just fine and you notice that the moment I do that the skin color looks a bit reddish so I'll go into red primary and I'll just turn down the saturation just a little bit um, probably proportional to the hue of the blues so something like this is okay for the hue of the green I'll just move over to about 10 that is for the background so if I turn it all the way you can see that this is what it looks like in case you want to look um, sorry go for this look you can also apply that but um, this is not so ideal for me I still want my yellows in there so somewhere around 30 should be just fine and basically that is it if I click on this um, icon right here this is our before and this is our after tell me which one you prefer all right thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is Theo from Funo Concept and I'll talk to you guys in the next one